boy am I stressed, went through another day of teaching not only five-year-olds, but a very mischievous old elf as well, and this time he has gone too far. All right children's and mythical creatures, we have a very 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 super duper special guest speaker today. His name is Captain Barkoff, and he is here to tell us all about his life as a police dog biting the arms off of bums in his native Belarus. Also, he has brought with him his anthropomorphic pet Rottweiler Cody Hands, who will sing us a song all about the importance of clapping your lily white hands. Get down Mr. Elf. I will not let you go on his body. That's not what I'm doing Mr. Teacher Boy. I'm not interested in his center level. I want to bite off each of his white little fingers, because my great uncle daddy was bit by a humanoid doggy when I was five, and because these look like yummy little mozzarella logs. <laughs> Alright kitties, I think now we should let Mr. Barkoff demonstrate how to attack naughty no no people like a bad arse. After that bum officer. Not so fast. I think there's something on his ridiculously ginormous hat. Let me just make sure it's clean. Bark. Bark 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 bark. I don't speak French you cheese eating surrender monkey. I have had it with your constant shenanigans little bud. Go to bed right now. I know what you were trying to do. No cuddling with that giant gray and red mushroom just because you miss that four-legged piece of soft furniture you call a puppy. I have a bed at school. Why didn't you say so Mr. Teacher Man? Just get out of my sight little buddy before I ask Captain Barkoff to bite off your arms for real. Don't be so daft. I ran out of both those things. Oh that little bud. Boy does he aggravate me. I'm formulating a secret revenge plan on him for all the trouble he's causing in my classroom. But before I do... I could use a little coping snack. I think I'll make a mint chocolate chip ice cream and fudge cake sandwich on toaster pastries. With a bottle of Diet Coke so I don't become too big and gross and icky. Like all the other girls who live in this flat. Oh how do you do Mrs. Kinsbury? Mind if I take your for coat? Or perhaps your skin? Oh Captain Horsefly, I never have been so humiliated. <laughs> that Groucho Marx is better at wit than any English gentleman put together. An old elf, turn off the telly, it's time for Betty Boo Boo. Oh come on Mr. B, just 52 minutes left. Elf, you've seen this film a dozen times. I know it's a masterpiece but it's nowhere nearly as good as Duck Soup, and I'm thinking something looks a bit off about that man's mustache. Come on mate, it's 9.30. It's past a bedtime. Who's past your bedtime? Is he a man who will preach the word of God to me whilst I'm in bed? No, silly old hobbit. Let's get a move on. I'm bloody knackered and the trains won't conduct themselves tomorrow morning. Nah. <laughs> now that my stupid bedtime chores are done I can finally do my favorite nighttime activity. Woof woof yippee. Rock a bye poppy. On the queen size bed, when Mr. Graduation Boy blows, the elf will fly away. When the bed breaks, I will have nowhere to sleep, and down will come small, to the uncomfortable floor of the room. Ow. Elf, stop cradling that inanimate object and get some shut eye. I'd rather that you play with your banger, at least it's more natural. I can't believe what you just did to poor small. You're a dog bully you are. This is why you should stop drinking so much stout. Elf, your talking pillow will be fine. He's got no bones. Also, I'm sober. I only had seven beers this time tonight. Yeah, I do believe you're drunk. Uck blah gog blah blah. This is it. I'm now going to break into the zoo and enlist the Grinch to join me in my delicious scheme. I'll just have to drop quietly into his enclosure. Oof, I'm getting too old for dropping into places. Why is there a Moslem hobo in my cave? I'm not a Moslem. This is my stealth costume. If you ain't here to bust me out and send me back to a ville, then I order you to get out. Now hold on a minute. Don't you recognize me? No. I'm Mrs. Valerie Chinningbert. I teach primary school a few miles down the road. My role was originally intended for an actress with a large chin, hence the surname. 
but the cast agent thought I had too much young feminine beauty to not cast me in. Really? Spilled over in a bell, not even a sleigh bell. Well, one of my students is an old elf. We came here on a field trip and he went on to your body, and you seeked revenge on him but he got away, remember? Oh yeah, cause that Gary a drink pervert. Old men are not allowed on my own. I know, since I hate that little bud as much as you probably do, I wondered if you would like to join me in a scheme that will likely scar him for life, and this should work out great, unlike trying to go on his absent body which he doesn't have. I sure miss doing schemes ever since they locked me up for taking the Christmas. So what is the plan? Firstly, I spoke with the local hobby shop owner who told me what Mr. Elf's biggest weakness is. Is it dragons? No. Is it spiders? No. Is it perhaps me myself the Grinch because I tried ruining a sacred holiday that elves actually celebrate? No, it's puppets. Puppets? What's so scary about puppets? I don't know, maybe his family was killed by a puppet. Anyway, in case you're wondering what's in this sack, I'm getting it out right now. We are both dressing up as a puppet. I'm sorry, but this is sounding kind of ridiculous. Why would we dress up as puppets instead of simply holding puppets by hand? And why would we both dress as one single puppet in the first place? Just you wait and see Curious George, this is no ordinary puppet. This is the most menacing and otherworldly felt crafted figure of them all. It's called Rada Fok Plokta, and he is a character from a long lost Czechoslovakian kids show from the 80s called Death Kovic that got banned for being too scary. Yikes, that thing is creepy. What did you say its name is again? Rada Fok. Why would a children's character be named after a swear word? Well whatever it means, some say this figure is based on a mutant from the Chernobyl disaster, or perhaps a supernatural creature from Slavic folklore who flies around at night smuggling children who don't eat enough Konsky Polavni Organi, aka horse genitals. This thing should definitely scare the life out of Mr. Elf, plus the character speaks in a foreign language which is something Elf is also afraid of. And why is that? I think it's because Mr. Elf is a childish elderly hermit who's never been to a non-English speaking foreign country before. Anyway, the original creators of the puppet were kind enough to let me borrow the costume for this scheme, and I was even taught how to say some Slovak phrases in Rada Fox voice. You're the one with arms and hands. So why don't you wear the neck and hold the head whilst I do the voice and use my sack stick to control the hand on my right? Okay, if this is gonna stand the elf and teach him not to go on my body, then let's do it. Excellent, let's get under this ostrich clown's frock. Looks like we've approached an old elf's house. I drew an X right here on the pavement using some chalk so I'd know where we'd find the treasure. I mean, scare the dwarf. Why did we have to walk all the way here in this awkward costume? My arm's getting tired holding up this ghostly in those head. Hold your hairy green stomach there Grinch. I just didn't want anyone to know you escaped the zoo. Now the fun part is coming. But how are we supposed to get him and scare him? All the lights are still on in the house. Don't worry, it's an illusion. An old elf's friend had gotten those new glowing curtains that trick thieves into thinking you're still home whilst you're asleep at night. They also serve as oversized night lights for those who absolutely can't handle being in the dark. I see. So how do we break in? Just throw me through the window. I'm wide and chubby enough. What? I insist. This is the home of two old men so they are deep sleepers. We won't wake them. Well, if you say so. Kabunga. What was that? Oh forget it I'm tired. Good show Mr. G. Now let's head up to Elf's room and put on the rod of fog. I know which one it is because he always smells like mothballs and prune juice. We'll hide in his closet.
Z, Z, Z. Bow, wow, wow. How convenient it is to have the closet overlooking the bed. Oh yeah, this will be so great. You said it, alright. On the count of three we will jump out. You move the mouth and I'll do the talking. If Mr. Elf gets out of bed and runs out of the room once we scare him, we'll chase him down the hall or wherever he goes off to until his daddy or somebody else tries to get a hold of us. Got it? Loud and clear, my man. Good. Now in three seconds we will take the great parallel leap. Ready? Ready. One. Two. Three. three. <laughs> An old elf, what is all the commotion? You don't normally scream this loud. Help me Mr. Graduation Boy, please help me. There's a hairless Spanish demon giraffe in my very room. Elf, calm down. You probably just hit a nightmare, possibly a racist one for that matter. No really, I saw it too. This is no time for mucking around little buddies. It's one o'clock in the morning. Stay away you demon. <laughs> what the? It's back. Run for your lives. Oh Mr. Elf, I'm so sorry I doubted you. I'm gonna have nightmares for bloody weeks. Back off you ghostly lizard creature or I will give you a dose of puppy power. Slovenske narodnej divadlo. That's the fifth bruise I've gotten tonight. Don't worry Mr. Elf. I have a plan to get rid of that horrible beast once and for all. Once he finds us again at the top of the stairway and comes up, I will gouge him in the eyes with this pair of Play-Doh Elmo scissors. And then we'll wrap him up in some paper and chuck him into the bin, okay? Yes. That didn't sound like you. Yes! That's more like it. Get up, get up, stop, it's it. Hey Beelzebub, we're upstairs. Uh -huh. Hey Buster, that freaking smarts. It went right through the palm of my hand. Well, it was good fun while it lasted. Wait a minute, it was only a costume this entire time? I had no idea. Nah, maybe it decided to surrender by finally speaking English, the only correct language. In two different voices? Rubbish. This is only a decoy and a puppet, you prejudiced little man. I can't be prejudiced, I'm a little person. Elf, that language is prejudiced towards little people who really are prejudiced. Now let's see who this groovy villain really is. The Grinch. Mr. Teacher Boy, I had no idea. An old elf, is this man your teacher? Who, the Grinch? No, I mean the dude in black. Oh yeah, that's the boy. I'm a girl. Yes, and I'm an Afro-Dominican shopkeeper. I caught you two red-handed. What do you have to say about terrifying my poor elf and his puff fluff using an astonishingly convincing clown ostrich phantom costume? Don't forget about yourself and Woodward. You blokes were scared too. Oh yeah we were. Oh hi there sir. Is there a Mrs. Chinningbird here? You mean the tubby gray haired boy with the puppet? Yes, I'd been watching her for some time. I'm here to confiscate the puppet, and give her a punishment. Sir, who are you? You don't look like a policeman. You look more like an Italian 70s dad taking a safari. I'm neither of those things. My name is Stefan and I'm the original owner, operator and creator of Rata Fog Plakta. I've flown here from Slovakia to get my beloved creation back, because that tricky old man woman is abusing him. If you're from Slovakia, then why do you sound bloody American? That doesn't matter. I'm working for Window Light Studios. Miss Chinbum, how dare you misuse Rata Fog? You said you were going to use him for a Czechoslovakian cultural festival in London and make kids happy, not scare innocent old men as well as a small piece of furniture. My character is kind and harmless and lovable and magnificent and would never do such a thing. How on earth did you know what I did? The ambassador told me, and he let me keep track. Also, Rada Fox show was called Sunny, not Bethkovich. And it was never cancelled for being scary. It was around for 10 years and most kids loved it. 
Some kids in non-Slovaks are just cowards. That's it. You are grounded 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 for five years with no coping snacks. You can't ground me. You are not my dad or guardian and I am 30 years older than you. Yes I can. Go to bed right now Kalu. What? Uh, uh. Body 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 body. No body. Hello baby puppy. Elf. I'm Mr. Graduation Boy, not baby puppy. I know, it's just that I kept having puppy on my mind last night because of his outies and that great puppet chase. So I was wondering if we could bring small to the stuffed animal doctor today. Yes, we can bring small to the stuffed animal doctor. I'm taking the day off because of last night's events. And I'm sorry for banging small around like a football when I was feeling beery last night. Just promise not to tell anyone that I did that. Okay. Also, on the computer I looked up the puppet show that the Rottafog character appeared on and I'm not afraid of him or foreign languages anymore. I find it cool and very charming. Marvelous indeed Elf. There you go Mr. Elf sir. He's all better. Thank you Dr. Love Puppies. But are you exactly sure the cure he needed was tender hugs and a wee pop? Of course, that's how you make the bruises go away, trust me. Alright, thank you dear child, you have a lovely bedroom. I mean, clinic. Sir, what's a clinic? Ugh, you know Mr. Elf, as glad as I am that you have your sentient cushion back in good condition, that place was so incredibly sugary, I just want to drown it out with the gritty musical stylings of Nick Cave. Alright. <laughs>